Welcome back to my channel. This week is my first week of classes for the spring semester. It is Monday. So I'm gonna go into my Notion and do my semester prep, set up the notebooks, get the textbooks. And I have this table thing in Notion where I put in every single assignment for every class and the due date and the type of assignment. That way I know exactly what is expected from me and I'm not missing a single assignment. I did my morning routine. I had breakfast. I did my little get clear and get current for the week. So I just planned out this week's to-do list and that kind of stuff. And I took my vitamins this morning. You guys know I get my vitamins from Care Of. If you don't know, Care Of is a subscription supplement service that makes it easy to stick to a consistent vitamin routine. With Care Of, you basically go on their website and take a little five minute quiz to get to know more about your lifestyle, what you hope to achieve through supplements, and just a little bit more about you. Based on your answers to the quiz, they provide you with personalized recommendations for supplements. These are the supplements that I'm currently taking in my little supplement pack. First one is Astaxanthin. The health goals for this supplement are for your brain, your heart, and your skin. The next supplement in my vitamin pack is vitamin C and we all know that vitamin C is great for immunity health. Next up I have rhodiola and the health goals with this are for your brain, energy levels, and stress. The last supplement in my pack is a multivitamin with iron. I want to make sure that I'm getting my iron because I know I do not get enough of it in my diet. Those are the current supplements that I'm taking from Care Of. You guys can take Care Of's quiz to find out what's recommended for you and you can use my code Sienna to get 50% off your first order. I have a lot of editing to do today because I'm in the process of making three videos simultaneously so I I did a video on how to get your life together and all the things that I do. And then I did a video decluttering and then I did a video resetting and planning. And that's going to be up before you see this video. So I'll have it on the screen linked below. And then the other video is decorating my apartment. So I picked up stuff from Amazon, did a little Amazon decor haul and did some decorating in my apartment, just some cute little stuff. And that video, again, you will have seen that video already. I'll have it on the screen in the description box below. But those are two videos that I really need to edit today. And I underestimate editing all the time. I always am like, oh my God, it'll take two hours. The last video before for those two videos that you're gonna see was my decluttering vlog and that had about three hours of footage and I think it took me between six to eight hours to edit that video which is insane because when you watch it you're like how did this 20 something minute video take six to eight hours to edit I don't know either girl and I think I'm fast at editing because I know all the keyboard shortcuts and I'm just quick with it but like there's just a lot of footage if it's a sit down talking video that takes you two hours max because you're just looking through one clip that's like an hour of footage and you're just cutting and doing it and there's nothing much to really add to it and there's nothing you're changing on anything so it takes like two hours I don't know that video just took me so long usually it takes like five hours max for vlogs but yeah I underestimate again how long editing is gonna take me so I always put in my calendar two hours which is so dumb of me because when has that ever happened never so I actually put in my calendar today three to four hours for each video so a lot of the day is just editing and then also planning some content for the week because I have to do a very big project for this food company, four different food companies. I am going to get started with my day and I will see you guys in a bit. <laughs> I love how it's a 24 minute video, but I had, I think like two hours of footage. I don't know how that happens. Love that still. That's the video that I'm editing right now. You will have already seen it. It's eight o'clock. This is where I'm still at. I'm going to make myself a PB and J because I don't know. I really want a PB and J. Enthusiastic, chill. Good morning, guy. Still enthusiastic. What is happening? You know what? The sun is out. I'm in a better mood. I made my lemon water in my workout attire. I'm about to do a workout. I made a workout schedule for at home. So, like, Monday is lower body, Tuesday is upper body. Don't want to do upper body, but I should. But gonna do a workout and then rinse off self tanner. Oh, also, that's why I'm in a good mood. I'm self tanned. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit is all you need. I can't wait for the weather to be a little bit warmer. Well, it's like 40 degrees. A lot warmer. So, hi. 
so that I can uh, be tan naturally again because there's nothing better than being tan naturally and then adding self-tanner on top of that, you're unstoppable. I think it's also really funny that because I'm Italian, Sicilian specifically, and Brazilian, both my parents are so tan, it's stupid. But now, I don't go in the sun like I did when I was a child. So I'm a regular ass bitch. I would kill to be as tan as I was before I Loved the indoors. Anyway, I'm off topic again. I love Sybil's tail just swooshing. I'm gonna do my workout, then I'm gonna rinse off my self tan and we're gonna get started with the day. I didn't do any semester prep yesterday because I realized I didn't wanna do like half of it for one class and then another class. I wanted to just wait until everything was up on the canvas. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm only taking three classes because I only ever take three classes because some semesters I'll do two classes, some semesters I'll do three. I'm always gonna be in college, I feel like, because I wanna be a lifelong learner. And to me, I'm not using the bachelor's degree to get a career. I'm using the bachelor's degree to just learn about business. Why force myself to be a full-time student and work full-time and be healthy and have a social life? I don't need to do that. I'm privileged and blessed enough that I don't. So I'm going to enjoy being part-time, but I thought I would share that in case, in case you're new or in case you didn't know that, but I'm part-time. So anyway, if you didn't see my last video, which was a decorating my apartment vlog. This is what I just did. Actually, I was editing for the past three hours. But before that, I hung up some art above my desk. So finally, we have a little something going on in here. But I just want to show you guys a little update in my office and the art that I just hung up. So these pieces are all from Decineo. That's where I get all of my art. I think they look really good together. And then I'm currently encoding my video, which is the decorating vlog that you will have already seen. Up in the morning to you, Lasse. So I accidentally slept. No, I didn't. I put in that little, you know, the little. I'll insert a photo. That thing. My mom got me that for Christmas. I put that in my hair last night. No, did not work. I did a little leave-in product. I sprayed it a little bit. Twisted it up. No, here's a picture of me in it. So I just sprayed my hair and now it's, oh, I should have left it natural. I don't know how those girlies on TikTok use that thing and then their hair comes out beautiful, flawless. Remember in Friends when Monica's cousin would take her hair down and it just, you know, that's what that looks like. And I feel like that's fake. Like how are these bitches hair looking like, maybe they just have thicker and longer hair, but like for me, I looked like, what's her name? The one that lived on the street, Annie. Good morning. I have a little superfood latte. There's literally no coffee in it. It's just oat milk. And then this thing, this thing, this powder from Bloom. They have really cute wellness stuff at Bloom, but this is a superfood latte powder in salted caramel, vegan, caffeine-free, and organic. I added a little bit of honey to it to sweeten it up. It tastes really good. I'm in my wellness girl era. I've always been in my wellness girl era. I just don't do it full blown like all the other wellness girlies, but like I'm in that era all the time. I love wellness. I might be a feral rat at the club, not the club, at the dive bars on Friday, but during the week, I'm a wellness girly. I got my textbooks in. I didn't do any of the semester prep yesterday either because I had just so much editing and so much filming, but it's okay because it's like syllabus week. So really the only thing you're graded on are the welcome discussions and the syllabus quiz. So really you're, you're fine. I just got my textbooks today for my history class. I think it's history from the civil war until present day. I'm so excited because in high school, while I did get good grades, I never really learned what I was learning. I didn't dive into it, actually interested in the information, but now I'm super interested to learn about Little Miss America and you know, what happened to her and what her vibe was, you know? So I just, I'm really excited for this class. I think it's gonna be my favorite class. The other classes I'm taking are math and they're really not important and nobody cares about them. So I will be talking about history. Well, you might care about math. I don't, so I won't be talking about it, but. assignments and the 
notebook for my history class. So in the master schedule template, I put everything that's graded on the assignment list. I think I wanna add the reading that we're supposed to do every week because last semester, all of my professors included the reading assignments and the chapters we're supposed to be on every week in the syllabi. And so this teacher didn't, but I know that there is because looking at the first week module, there are the chapter reading and the lecture. So I think I'm just gonna add the reading so I know that I have to get that done and I can check it off. But I do have a little thing on here for reading. So yeah, I don't even know why I'm, of course I'm going to add the reading. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. Love having the little iPad. I need to figure out how to get the Apple Pen to connect because it just doesn't wanna connect and I need to be a little iPad girly, you know? I think right now I'm just gonna take a quick little five second break to make a nice chai. eight o'clock i've been at my computer for so many hours something that i do okay i wanted to be one of those girlies who tracks their time to see like where my time is spent that was too complicated that was too much for me i've unintentionally been doing it on google calendar because i will time block my week and every night i'll kind of go in and time block the day and then i'm always on my calendar so if something takes longer or if i do something else in that place i'll still put the time block in if i already did it so that way i can see how I spent my time throughout the week. It's less rigid than like actually hitting a timer and using an app on my phone. It's just something that I'm already doing. It's really easy because then I can just go back and look at all the days of the week and see where my time was spent on the weekdays and see how many hours I put in of work, how long something took me so that I know for the future, like, okay, editing this type of video took me this long or filming this kind of content took me this long. Really cool. So I've unintentionally been tracking my time and I love it. I just finished email admin and planning content content for another brand. So I'm doing four campaigns with food companies to make content for them, ads for YouTube for them, which I haven't ever done that. I've only ever given usage rights to my own content that I've done for brands. And they're like, okay, we'll use it for an ad. And I'm like, okay, per. But this I'm strictly making mini commercials for brands and they're big brands. And it's making me so nervous. I was so nervy. I've been procrastinating this for so long, but I finally sat down and wrote everything out, put together my plan. And it makes me nervous because when I see other people doing this, they have like the typical like blogger, mommy blogger vibes. And I watched like the exact examples they sent of like previous stuff and I'm like that's not that's not my personality but they say and they stressed we are hiring you because of your personality so be yourself uh, this personality so I was just gonna say bitch like you can't do that in an ad today was all planning editing and then school stuff I'm gonna watch my first week lecture and do the reading editing reels, listening to my 70s and 80s playlist, and I made myself a PB&J. We're sharing it. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's just, it keeps getting, it just keeps getting worse. This morning I cleaned up my kitchen really quickly and then I went to Target because I needed to pick up the stuff that I'm shooting for those brands today because it's just easier to pick it up from the store and then just you invoice them for the stuff that you had to buy. I completely skipped my morning routine and just went straight to doing that because I'm like stressed about the pressure of doing this. So it's 8.30 now, but I'm going to do my morning routine because I actually have to get ready for once, what? Which is nuts because I haven't gotten ready in the daylight hours in my months. I only ever get ready when I go out at night on Fridays and sometimes Saturdays. So I haven't worn makeup during the day in so long, which I think is progress because remember when I used to not be able to film videos without makeup? Like that was a time. That was an era. I do not like that era. I love the clean girl vibes. I don't know. Even reels I shoot without makeup. It just feels better lately. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm putting on makeup for this because this is a legitimate ad thing. Gonna do my workout, gonna shower, get ready, and then that's what I'll be doing all day. I just uploaded a new video, which when you see this video, this one will already be up. So if you want to go see it and you haven't, this is a vlog of me decorating my apartment and then doing an Amazon home decor haul. So I picked up some things from Amazon and did a little sprucing up on my apartment. And you also see me hanging up these bad boys. You don't see me putting this there because I didn't decide to put David there until like yesterday, but that's an addition that you didn't see in that video. But if you wanna check out the video, I will have it linked on the screen or in the description box below. Directions are 
are so not clear. Look at the directions. That doesn't tell me anything. And it's not even, like, there's no words. Was I supposed to take the glass on the wall? I feel like that's really wrong. Is there a video I can watch? Because this is not making sense. Well, this is doing this, so I, all right, well, you know what? No, that's fine. As soon as you touch the wall, you were like, nope, not for me. Oh, you're done? That's, no, I love, I love that. Oh, wait, what? Stop. This is like I'm drawing a peephole. It feels kind of wrong. Stop. Oh, now you wanna stop working when we're on the last one? Okay. For someone who hates being handy, I have a lot of tools. Yes, dirty my wall. <laughs> Why does that look crooked? Even though it's a piece of paper, it can't be. Hi, neighbor. There we go. Yes, girl. No, still? Oh, God. Are you just not deep enough? What the fuck is happening? Hey, neighbor. Oh, there's an extra one in case I break one. Perfect. <gasps> okay, I don't know how to put these in, so I'm going to start screaming in a minute. Don't quit on me now. There we go. I hate this. I'm literally back. You know what? I'd rather hang art. Not to brag or anything, but I got one in. Bob the Builder who? Oh, the last time I'll ever hammer on that wall. I'm done. I'm sorry. Oh my God. They put this happy music over it like it isn't the worst thing I've ever done. There's people that do this for a living. The talent that comes with that is actually ridiculous. Just, you know what? We're gonna just, we're gonna do a different one. Because if I do that one again, I'm gonna have to mental breakdown. Do I even want a whiteboard at this point? Like, there's no crying in construction. You're a liar. I've literally been sitting here on the verge of tears because the little back part wouldn't tighten. The screw wouldn't go in any farther. And then I was like, you know what? How important can that be? So I put the glass on and I just took the little thingies and screwed it on. It's fine. They should have said that in the instructions. Hey, it's gonna be wobbly and loosey-goosey, but that's okay, because it's not gonna tighten. You're gonna put it on and use the thingy. So that's what I've been going through. I'm not in my handyman era. Bob the Builder can keep his job title. There's my marker. I mean, what? I lost my mind. Watch it all fall to the ground. Let's do a pretty up-close montage as if I didn't just have a little mental breakdown. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so I found out what the whiteboard is for. So if you were to fuck around, you would just have to find out. Okay? I'm a teacher now. Look, oh I can play teacher. I would have loved this when I was a kid. The lighting in here right now is Phenomenal. I can't wait to get this room decorated because the golden hour light, there is not a time of day that the lighting does not slap in this apartment. Anyway, I'm only in my mirror because I want to show you my outfit. I think the straps are supposed to stay up, but they don't. And also this top, I'll never wear it in public because it's just, it doesn't fit right and it's, it slips and slides, but I like this outfit. In theory, I like this outfit. It's just not doable. I would love to wear this out tonight, but I can't. Anyway, this is what I wore today. Look at different jeans. Not me wearing my jeans actually now because I can see them all. These jeans are from White Fox. I really like them. I only cuffed them because I'm in the house, but I'm gonna wear them with heels later tonight and then a different top. I'm about to go to, it's Friday by the way. I'm going to dinner, let's sit and talk. Anytime I meet anyone that is under 24, I'm like, oh my God, you're such a baby. And then anytime I meet anyone that's over 26, I'm like, oh my God, you're like a big sister to me. My age is the only age, apparently. It's Friday, I'm gonna go to dinner with two of my friends and then go out for drinks after. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I'm running out of outfits to go out at night in. Like you guys never actually see. Okay, I just wanna show you guys the lighting in my office, show you my outfit, update you on the night. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because Sunday I'm gonna start a new vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.